Hey guys, I'm Casey Hollins. It's Friday, June 28th, and here's what you need to know. Last night, the Cleveland Cavaliers shocked everyone by selecting Canadian Anthony Bennett with the first overall pick in the NBA draft. This means there's a very likely chance that Canadians will be picked first two years in a row, barring, of course, an Andrew Wiggins catastrophe. On top of that, last night, Kelly Olnick from Kamloops, BC, was drafted 13th, not far behind. If you didn't believe Canadian basketball was on the rise, last night is your proof. And if you're excited for this kid from Brampton but don't know much about him, Michael Granger's column on Sportsnet.ca should fix that. He calls him a rhino with a jump shot. Gives you a nice picture. More big basketball news. The end of Boston's Big Three era may be coming to a close. It looks like Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett are headed to the Brooklyn Nets in exchange for a package that would include Chris Joseph, Gerald Wallace, and Chris Humphreys. And three first-round picks. Celtics guard Jason Terry is also reportedly part of the deal. Now, the trade can't go down officially until July 10th when the next year's salary cap is set, but it's all but a done deal. This move to free up cap space and acquire picks means a serious rebuilding era is upon the Celtics. So, Boston, on top of Hernandez being arrested on murder charges, Doc Rivers jumping ship, and the Bruins losing the cup in a matter of seconds, you now have a few Celtics rebuilding years to look forward to. And those are tons of fun, just ask the Raptors. The happiest of happy news, Munenori Kawasaki is back already. Okay, it's not really happy news because he was brought back after Melky Cabrera was put on the 15-day DL with knee tendonitis, but you know, it's still happy. What does this mean for the Jays? Hopefully, we have more of this dancing to look forward to. That's all you need to know, but stay tuned later for Rapid Fire Friday.